28 stations, 7 years of construction, and a budget of $6.7 billion. These figures represent what the Circle Line is all about. The line, opening on 8 October 2011, runs from Dubi Ghat to Harbourfront by Paraleba, Botanic Gardens, Buna Vista, and Telok Planga. It is expected to serve a variety of passengers, from regular commuters to tourists. There is however one group of people that in my opinion is most affected by the opening of this line. Students. Here in my hands is a list of schools that are within 250 meters from a circle line station. Well, that's a long list, isn't it? Well let me go let me get it through to you. BMC Academy, North Flight School, National University of Singapore, IT College Central Bishan, IT College Central MacPherson, Nang Junior College, Singapore Management University, National School of the Arts, uh, oh god, such a long list. Uh, uh. Well, not only will it serve lots of schools, but it will make time challenging them much more faster. Let's take Andy here. Say hi Andy. He lives in Bishan and studies in a school near Dover MRT station. Previously, he had to travel all the way to City Hall by the North-South Line and transfer to the East-West Line to Dover. Time taken, 35 to 40 minutes. With the Circle Line, he only needs to board from Bishan and travel a few stops to Bona Vista. There, Andy could transfer to the East-West Line for one stop to Dover. Time taken, 20 minutes. Imagine your journey time cut by half, isn't it great? Also, there has been much talk about the Circle Line among students in forums and even social networking sites. Let's hear what they have to say about it. Uh, it's very convenient. How oh, convenient? It will make things a bit more easier for me. Very good, it's a shortcut. Very convenient. Depends on the where people live. Uh. Mm. Yeah. There's train, so just yeah, train with train from the green line. Yeah. Maybe we have to sacrifice comfort because it's, it's very packed. To get a circle line, I need to change at Bona Vista. Then I have to walk a fair distance. And, circle, and one off is not exactly very near my school. It's walkable, but it's still sick sometimes. It's, the number of stops is still the same. But if I want to go to other places like Bishan from Bordeaux, then it's, it makes things a lot easier. They will take it the first try and to see whether it's faster or maybe uh, the buses are more comfortable or something like that. Like the other day, I had to meet them up at Queensway. So I had to go one big round. If the circle line was open, then I'll reach there within like 30 minutes. Maybe from school and we want to go somewhere else, it's easier for us to uh, travel from this place. Then. How about the transportation authorities? What do they have to say on the opening of the Circle Line? The Land Transport Authority or LTA says that students will benefit from the Circle Line because it will help relieve overcrowding on the north-south and east-west lines by 10 to 50%. They can also enjoy significant time savings. As for the operator of the Circle Line SMRT, they say all commuters will benefit from the Circle Line including students. Their travelling times will be much more shorter. Schools along the Circle Line will definitely benefit from it as well. Well, not to worry if a school is not within a distance of a Circle Line station, there will be more rail projects coming your way, such as the Downtown Line. The Downtown Line opening 2016 will be able to serve schools and students within the areas of Bukit Tima, Bukit Panjang, Bado and Tepinis. Well, just to name a few places. For now though, well, the Circle Line is not only just only a circle of convenience for us as students, but also to the rest of the country. Well, good night. More will put this in your way. For example, <laughs> you bring us for what? We're doing this film here. <laughs> now, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, bloopers. <laughs> oh.